Hi, I'm Sarah Kenrick and I'm working with Canova and Ian Codwen on their Family Food and Fun project, funded by Comic Relief. Now today we are going to be um, doing a vegetable soup in one of these slow cookers. Okay, really nutritional, low fat, uh, low calorie, really healthy uh, recipe. Okay, so um, the recipe will be in your uh, box of ingredients, uh, the vegetables that you're going to be getting. Um, and they are, in total, potatoes, celery, leeks, carrots, onion, green beans, a few tinned tomatoes, tomato paste, and a few herbs and spices just to give it a little bit more flavour. Now, on the recipe itself, we've got these particular vegetables, but you can actually substitute um, to have to any vegetables that you've got in your cupboard. Okay. So first of all, we're just going to prepare our vegetables. So peel the carrots. Now carrots are good uh, vitamin C, and like with a lot of root vegetables. Uh, we don't want to chop them down too finely because we want to have a little bit of a bite with our vegetables. Okay, um, just potatoes next. Okay, and uh, we're having potatoes in this just to uh, thicken the soup up because it's a uh, it's got starch in there so it will act as a, a natural thickener for the soup. Okay. Now the quantities I've got there are 8 ounces of carrots, 8 ounces of potato, um, 4 ounces of leeks and celery. So roughly we're looking at two carrots, two small potatoes, two or three small stems of celery, uh, leeks and two stems of celery. Okay. Clean as we go. So I'm going to chop up the potatoes We're roughly an inch, an inch thick with the potatoes, so in there. Okay. And you want to keep things roughly the same size because we don't want um, things to be cooking any quicker than the, the rest. Okay. And again, nice little chunks. Okay, so just straight in. Everything is just going straight in. So there's no, there's no other preparation, no other equipment needed. As long as you've got your slow cooker, sharp knife. 
Hina. so they've come already trimmed um, but it's always a good idea just to cut them down the middle and just make sure that there's no soil in the leaves so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash them just to make sure that there's no extra soil that's found its way down down the leaves so I'm just going to chop the end up Plenty of flavour to add to the soup. on the size of celery sticks it might be two, two or three small ones okay and I'm going to give these a bit of a wash as well because we have soil on the end of those it's always good to wash all our vegetables really and especially at the moment okay so again we're going to chop those up Again, you can use um, any other vegetables, sweet, parsnips, always a good uh, difference. Again, celery being one of the, um, the allergens, you've got to be careful as well if, you're, if you've got any member of the family that's allergic to celery, you just uh, omit it and put something else instead. Okay, then we've got uh, our onion, which I'm going to... Um, just roughly dice up. Now, when I'm when I'm peeling it, I'm going to leave the base so that um, it doesn't release too much um, too much to make me cry. Okay. And then just chop that, so I'm going to slice it horizontally. And then Goes in. We're not missing anything. Um, then I've got some green beans. 
Now you can either buy these um, whole, raw, uh, from the green grocer, but I've actually um, got frozen green beans, okay? They've been frozen, uncooked, so uh, very similar. But they'll obviously, they won't overcook in the slow cooker. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roughly chop those up so they're in good bite size pieces. Okay, and then they're going to go in. So as you can see, there's quite a good amount of vegetables in there, and this is going to serve around six to eight people once it's um, once it's been cooked completely. Um, then to this, we're going to add some tomatoes, just a small, regular size tin, which I've already measured out. So we just put those straight in. Okay. Um, then we're going to add some tomato puree. You'd probably get it in a tube like that. I've already got some here. So two generous piece, uh, tablespoons of tomato puree. Um, then I've got two teaspoons of garlic. Now, I tend to use um, garlic that's already been pureed. Um, I find it just a lot easier to work with. But if you want to buy fresh garlic and just mince that up with, with a knife, same as with the onion, just, just chop it up, then you can do that as well. Um, thing with the puree is it is quite concentrated. So again, one clove is roughly around one teaspoon. So we're using two teaspoons here. Okay, so put that in. Um, one teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. So a mixture of oregano, um, basil and parsley. Okay. Um, a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now that's going to give it a nice little little kick. Um, not too spicy, but it's, it's more of a, a flavoursome of these pungents. Okay. And we're going to add a couple of bay leaves. Um, now bay leaves gives a nice, uh, nice flavour, but you need to make sure that you take them out before you serve the soup. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we're going to have the stock. So I boiled the kettle here. And I'm just going to use two regular stock cubes, vegetable ones. is uh, two pints of two pints of water so again we're gonna stir until those stock cubes have dissolved And even though you can see it's quite full, that will reduce down slightly. 
and all the vegetables will suck up the, uh, the stock and the tomato juice and it will be a lovely vegetable soup. Okay, so once you've done that, we're gonna do, we're gonna put a little bit of pepper, just to taste, and a little bit of salt. Now, if you don't want to use salt, then that's, that's fine. Maybe you use the salt and pepper uh, when you're serving it to in each individual's taste. I always just add just a little bit of salt. Okay, um, and again, give that another little stir. Lid on. And we uh, tend to cook this either for uh, six hours on, on uh, low heat or three hours on high heat. So you could pop this on in the morning and have it ready for tea. You know, a nice, uh, a nice uh, evening supper meal uh, with a bit of crusty bread. That would be lovely. So um, to use that, obviously, it's off, low, high, so simple. And then when you have, have finished, it should look something like this. So this has been cooking for six hours since this morning. Okay, and let me just move these out of the way. Serve this. Oh, we'll get those bay leaves out of it first. chunky, low fat, low calorie vegetable soup. Thank you. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you had some fun and don't forget to share your photos with us on the Facebook group. See you next week.